come to old Sammy Vostok and I thought this would be such a great opening camera position because look at all those people oh my god so satisfying I turned off all of the pedestrian crossings because like they were just trying to cross there it was absolutely horrible um, we do need to kind of manage this intersection because if you look at it there's no traffic lights. I just noticed that and I've been, I was working on this pathway for like 10, 15 minutes and I didn't notice there was traffic lights, no traffic lights. Anyway, so this is old Sammy Voss stock. Now, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers. Oh my God, it's crazy. And also my Instagram is there down below if you'd like to send me some photos of your city or get some feedback on something, ask ideas or whatever, blah, 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 or even just have a chat. It is right there if you would like to check that out. So, here we are in live mode. Yes, here I am. Look, my mouse is moving with me. Look at it go. First thing I should, there's a couple of things I should acknowledge first of all is I've left this big empty spot here because I can't say too much, but there is, let's just say something is going to be released sometime soon. Whether you know what I'm, whether you know what I'm talking about, there is something coming, and I want to maybe utilize this space with that something. If you get my drift, so I can't say too much because I don't want to break my my my, my contracts or whatever. So we're leaving that that space empty, and then we'll fill that in, and eventually put in um, more older buildings with whatever else I was talking about. The architecture of this whole area, now I, I know a lot of you are going to be, be like, hey, that doesn't really look right, because in this whole area there is Dutch, there's old Dutch, there's new Dutch buildings, there's Russian buildings, there's English buildings, there's French buildings, and there's Russian buildings. It's all in there, it's all mushed together, and the reason why I did it like that is because this is this is the first, one of the first older areas of the city. And if you look in here, there's a mixture of, um, like, these ones look kind of French, so we've got some UK ones, and then these Russian buildings as well, so it's, it's a mixture already. So I had to continue on with that theme, so if we go over here, oh yeah, and I have this little stone bridge as well, looks so good, but we come back over here, this is, it's a little bit laggy because my game is like, oh, it's a bit hectic at the moment, but this is the main little area. This is the little shopping area. I put down some people generators in here because I thought that would make it look a little bit more alive. And all of these streets that I've used, they're small streets because obviously the older village areas, their layouts are quite windy and the streets are quite small because they didn't need large roads back then. So of course I had to do the windy smaller roads. Now, if we just look at how I've designed it, I don't know if you noticed it already, but <laughs> here we go. So these areas here, quite windy. The buildings are a little bit smaller. Uh, then we come up here. So I guess this would be where the city first started. Then they started expanding. And suddenly you get these larger buildings here. These ones, which have quite a lot of stories in there. Suddenly they're packing in a lot of people. Um, so obviously this is going to be a different kind of error from the first part of the old downtown area and then we come up here and it starts to phase in these more Russian style buildings so like these ones and these ones um, and then you have like more up here these longer ones and then eventually you get to the area where we have these larger Russian style buildings and these ones actually Hong Kong buildings um, we still have an Orthodox Church over here and then we go to even more modern and we have these big oops, a bit laggy but we have these style buildings here which are really common still in Russia they're pretty much mass produced everywhere um, so yeah so I think the the most trickiest part of this whole thing was to integrate the, I guess, the newer area of the city with the older area of the city, of the city which is done through this part through here, which is kind of like this street. Um, the layout, I had to slowly phase out the windy, crazy layout into something more, just a little bit more easy to look at. So this is still a little bit windy to symbolize that, that, yeah, it's a little bit older here, but it's not as windy as if we look down through here.
Also, I know someone's going to ask, I'm just going to mention it quickly. I've used this road here, it's it's a very old fashioned looking road. Um, I think it fits in really well with this, whole, with, with this whole area, but when you place it down, it actually looks like this. It has this dirt part over the top of it. So to get rid of that dirt, I just use the uh, surface painter and just get rid of it like that. Now this actual road is called, it is, the Ruined Road, so yeah, it fits in with the old style really, really well, but you'll definitely need the surface painter to fill in the sides, because if you just put down a building, you're still going to see that dirt bit, like, right there, which I don't really like, so just letting you know. Also, all of these buildings I placed down myself, so I used the, the, uh, the Find It mod, then you can just type in whatever type of building you want. So I placed down literally all of these by myself and then I just used the move it mod to um, mush it in together. So just letting you guys know, a lot of you guys know that, but some of you, oops, if we just go like that, some of you guys still don't know that. So you can just move it into place like that, for example. So let's just go over some of the um, essentials. So we do have some clinics in here. Actually, there's a, there's a few up here. So there's that one, something in there somewhere, something in there, um, nothing, none down there, none down there. But I mean, it's not too far away, so that should be fine. In terms of crematorium or cemetery, there isn't any until all the way up there. We might have to put one in there in the future. Um, this, yeah, not good. Can I put in this Italian one? Maybe that can just like plop down in there. How does that look? I think we could get away with that. I think so. If we just mush it in like so, like so. Yeah, that'll do. I like that tower. That's good. So that's some coverage for fires and then police. It's actually low crime here and it's not like saying it's red or anything. Do I have one that I could just like hide in there somewhere? We have the rural police. So I could maybe yeah I'll put it in there just to squish it in there a little bit hide it in there I love doing that just so it doesn't ruin the whole image because like I don't want to have these nice buildings and then suddenly there's an, a really random police station so I mix it in so it's not as open now in terms of education let's see elementary school <gasps> there's no I thought I put one there must have been high schools let me guess the high schools yes high school high school Okay, that's annoying. Actually, I have this one here, which is the kindergarten, which is actually an elementary school. So I'm going to throw that in just in there. It's hidden, so you don't really see it. This part here kind of annoys me, though, because um, initially the water, it stops here, but initially it went all the way up to here. And I've actually added in a water generator right here, but for some reason it doesn't go up here. So I'm not sure if it's too thin or the terrain is too high. I'll check that out later and I'll make make sure that it comes all the way back up to there. Um, in terms of like public space, there isn't that much because obviously in an old town, they utilize a lot of the space and like green space wasn't really a priority. So that's why um, this part here is, it's all... It's all cement ground, um, I, but I did want to open this up through here. This is why I put this little canal just to open up the area. Um, obviously, this is where like they can slide in boats and um, I don't know. I just thought it looks good like that. Uh, in terms of actual space though, there is this island over here. So this is the main pathway. They can go down here underneath the bridge, um, come along here. It goes along the side of the little old area, da, 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 all the way down to the ferry station. Now, I left this island pretty bushy because I, I thought it would be just too much if I add in um, lots of houses on here. So I left it all bushy, a little bit of path, some pathways going through, a little bit of a, a bit of a seating area. But other than that, that's pretty much it for green space. Um, maybe I can fit in some more over here in eventually when I add in that other something. But like, I guess they can just walk to the side and then it's like, they can see right out. And it's like, oh yeah, that feels good. That's ni nice and open. So it's not like a huge sea where it's really compact everywhere. Like it's it's pretty easy to walk from side to side and get, get a nice visual of everywhere. Like, ah, oh, look at that, it looks so good. Is that hovering? Yeah, see the water level used to be up here, but now it's dropped for some reason. So whatever. Now, um, 
I need to do the ferry line. For some reason, it's gone. I don't know if I did that or I, I don't know. Anyway, it's going to start here over in the mm, kind of tourist area. We have some already. So I'll start it from here, create new line. There we go. Now it comes over, I guess the first one will, will be the old town. So click, and then we come over here. This is Baranski. Click into this little, I don't know, I feel like this is like a little restaurant area. Just a little bit of a shopping district as well. Comes over here, da, 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 over to, what is this area called? Zoluyan. And then comes over here to this area that has not yet been given a real name. And then it comes up here to Sevsk. Sevsk. <laughs> and then it goes back, so that should get them going. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but that are some areas around my city that have a lot of um, traffic going on. Hang on a second, let me just add on. One, two, three, four, five, there we go. A couple of different ones. I have actually installed this mod here real time. So it actually generates more traffic than usual. So I'm not like trying to sound like I'm really up myself or anything, but I don't really have much traffic on my roads and to me it looks empty so I wanted a mod that actually brings in more traffic in my cities, um, it brings in more pedestrian activity and it just makes it look more alive so yeah I actually wanted more in my city. Um, it, it does fluctuate as well and you can adjust it and um, yeah real time mod is actually pretty cool. That might be why there's so many people that come through here sometimes as well. You guys, I thought I'd give you like a cute little ferry ride, but we're actually like literally inside the ferry and that does not look good. And I don't think I can adjust it either. No, I can't. The mod doesn't really let me adjust it. It's not working properly, but yeah. Ah, oh, it looks so ugly from the inside. Oh my God. But I mean, we can get a sense if we look to the left of how the buildings look. Um, I chose that building there because you can actually place it half over the water and it doesn't complain. So I like that. Let's just exit. That's, that's such a, <laughs> looks so ugly. I used a couple of different ferries as well. I just let it do whatever. So, you know, what? I just think it looks really good. Like how the angles are really wavy and then the buildings follow the shapes of the roads to make it look really, um, diverse. Yeah. I just think it looks really good. I'm really proud of how this has turned out and I've put it off for so long, but now I'm thinking, why did I put it off? Because it looks so good. It looks, it looks filled in really well. If we zoom right out, let me just try to hide the, hang on, let me, let me try. Uh, there we go. There. If we look over here. <laughs> I'm trying to hide the empty part. In terms of the population, it's uh, about, it's over 6,000, 6,500. Land value is actually really high. $82 or whatever it is. Let's compare it to here, which is Actually, that's 84 as well. Let's go out here somewhere. Baranski, 52. Magnolia, 32. Yeah, so 82 is really high, actually. University, um, Baranski, 75. The, the port area is even 36. So this is actually really high. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. What do you guys think of how it's turned out? Besides the empty, empty, empty spot, of course, but I think it looks so good. In terms of the next episode, I'll leave that up to you guys. So do you want more semi for stock videos? Do you want to see my other cities again? Do you want to see city fix? Do you want to see tutorials? Do you want to see whatever? Just let me know and I'll go through them and check them out. So just before you guys go, I'll give you guys another close up look of everything throughout the old down town. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this quick little recap of this area and I'll see you all hopefully very soon.